Notice on this, right? You got this. We have two coefficients of y that are the same. But the signs are the same as well, which is what we do not want. Because can we eliminate anything here? Yes. Not no, yet. No, because there's, there are like terms. Yeah, because they have the same yeah, sign. Okay. So all we're going to do is we're going to go in here and change the signs. So I'll see that 2x, now it's negative 2x. Oh, I'm going to do it on the bottom one. Is that okay? Yeah, no. It's too late. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, that plus now is going to be a minus, and that 4 is going to be negative. Oh, shit. Was that too much there? So let's finish this problem. So we've got this negative 3x minus 2x, which is negative 5x. Negative 5x. 2y minus 2y, bam, 0. This equals negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. So you're going to take this negative 5, the coefficient of x, and divide it over here. What's negative 5 divided by negative 5? Very good, x is 1. So in our answer, we know that x is 1. Okay, so let's look back. Uh, we have our two original equations. Do we want to plug x into the top, the top one or the bottom one? The top one. Top? Okay. All right, so we've got this negative 3x, which is 1, one. plus 2y equals negative 1. So when we solve this, we got uh, negative 3 plus 2y equals negative 1. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides. You can play the switch and stay game, whatever's good. It'll be 2y two 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 equals 2. So y equals 1. Bam. So we know y equals 1, but we should check this by plugging it into the other uh, equation. The other equation was uh, 2x. Wait, wait, how did you get y equals 1? We had 2 times x, which is 1, and that used to be a plus 2y which is 1, and that should equal 4. So 2 plus 2, does that equal 4? 4 equals 4. Yes, it does. Check. <laughs> Bam. So that's our answer. And this is a positive, this is a positive, and then you add. So 3 plus 2 is 5x. And then that's zero, because two minus two is zero. And so, oh, yeah, okay, zero, okay. And then 12 is two, it's 14. And then five it goes, wait, but the opposite, so then it would be 14 over five x, right? X equals 14 over five. Wait, how do I erase this? So X. Okay, so X equals 14 over 5. Okay, and then... So don't do it in decimals. You'd plug this in to the top one. Okay, so 3 times 14 over 5. What if you have then? Plus 2 equals 12. So 3 times 14 over 5. Wait, I don't know what that is. 42. 42. Over five. 42 over 5. It's 42 over 5. Plus 2 equals 12. Plus 2y. Sorry. It's 2y. Okay. And then, switch to say again. Yeah, I remember now. Okay, I remember. How do I move the screen? Okay, so I'm gonna go over like this. Okay. And then, so numbers are over here, and y's are over here. So 12 stays, 42 over 5, over 5, and 2i stays. This is really hard. Hard. Negative 42 fifths. Negative 42 fifths because it switched. OK. 
Okay, this is really messy. I'll give you two y equals 18 fifths. And then, and then, two y equals 18 fifths. So, yes. Okay, <laughs> you take it now. It would be easier if I wrote it on the board, but you come on messing around with it. Uh, no. Five's prime. Are you talking about turning it into a mixed number? Eight and two fifths. Avoid mixed numbers. Uh, All right. I'm doing everything you're telling me to so avoid. So y equals, uh, this is 18 fifths. You divide by two there. Why? So that goes away. You divide by the coefficient of whatever you're trying to find. Okay. okay. So that would give you nine fifths. But what about x? Okay. Well, x you already figured out was 14 fifths. So it looks like the solution would be 14 fifths and 9 fifths. Well, let's check that. Uh, so you used uh, that other one. Let's check. All right, so 3 times 14 fifths. This one was hard. I'm not good with fractions. 2. Oh, wait, that's the one you used. Hold on. It's so bold. All right, so Drake used the top equation, so we've got to use the bottom one now to figure this out. So you got negative 2 times x, which is 14 fifths. No, that's a positive. Well, it was negative. Uh, Plus sorry. 2 times y, which is 9 fifths. That should equal negative 2. Well, let's find out. So negative 2 times 14 fifths is negative 28 fifths. Yep, got to multiply first. Order of operations. No, but wouldn't it be um, 28 times? Well, those both equal negative 2. Let's check. Okay, so we're, gonna re we're going to manipulate this one to be more like this one, okay? So what you got is a 3x plus 6y equals, that's a positive 12. The other one stays the same. 2x plus 6y equals 12. Well, that is a problem because uh, we need the different signs. You guys so want me to change the top or the bottom? Bottom? Bottom. bottom. So that will be plus 2. That's a minus 6y. That's a negative 12. 3x plus 2x is 5x. 6y minus 6y is 0. 12 minus 12 is 0. X, equals X zero. is zero. What? So, in our answer, we've got the X value zero. Should we plug it into the top or the bottom equation? Uh, top one, okay. So we've got uh, three times zero needs to equal negative six times y equals 12, uh, plus 12. So three times zero, zero. So negative six y plus 12. So negative 12 equals negative 6 y, y equals 2, 2. And we can check that in that top equation. Uh, no, we, we did, we used the top equation. Let's use the bottom one. So 2 times 0 would be 0 there. 6 times 2 is 12. check a -roo. Let's take a gander up in here. I got this uh, 5x plus 4y equals 9. That's good. That's already in standard form. What we're going to do is we're going to work with this one to make it standard form. All right. So I'm going to write the top one first. Got 5x plus 4y equals 9. This other one, what we're going to do is we're going to move this 5y over here. So notice we do have that 4x. Uh, but I'm going to move it over there so that uh, they're all lined, lined up, okay? The thing is, is since it's a negative 5, it crossed the sides, it crossed sides, it crossed the line, whatever you want to say, it makes it a positive 5y, and that should equal 9-er. Okay. Well, uh, from here, some of you may remember from yesterday, last time rather, that we need one of the coefficients to be the same for one of the variables. So we get to choose. Do we want to eliminate the x's or the y's? X's. Let's eliminate the x's, okay? 
So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this top equation, 5x plus 4y equals 9, and we're going to multiply everything by the coefficient of x in the bottom equation, which is the coefficient of x is 4. Alright, so since we have that, let's, uh, let's go ahead and look at the second one. Well, we're going to multiply this equation by the coefficient of x in the top <coughs> equation, which is 5. Now we're just going to distribute these. Let's start with the top one. So let's distribute the top one. We're going to distribute the 4 everywhere. So what we get is 20x plus 16y equals 36. Let's do the same thing with that bottom one. We'll distribute this 5. 5 times 4x is uh, 20x, plus 5 times 5y is 25y, equals 5 times 9, 45. Yay. Well, notice the 20s are good, so we've got these 20x and this 20x. The thing is, is they have the same sign, so they're both positive. We need to change one of them to negative. Do we want to change the top one or the bottom one? Bottom, okay, so let's change this one to negative. But remember, that's going to change these other ones as well. So that's plus is now minus. That's a minus or negative 45. All right, let's add. 20x minus 20x. Zero. Zero. So 16y minus 25y. Negative 9. Negative 9y equals 36 minus 45. Negative niner, so we can see y equals Zero. one. Yeah. one. <laughs> Let's go ahead and show that in our answer. We want this as a coordinate pair. Y is one. So what we need to do is look at our two original equations, one of these two, and we're going to replace y with one. The top one. So let's do. Let's go ahead and substitute one in for the top one. So we've got this five x plus. 4 times y, which is 1. So we re we've replaced the y with 1. That equals 9. Let's just solve this. 5x plus 4 equals 9-er. Some of you have seen this, where you just subtract 4 from both sides, right? So that makes this a 0. So you've got this 5x. This equals 9 minus 4 is 5. It turns out x equals 1 as well. Okay, now that we know that the answer is 1, 1, we only check this with one of the equations. So let's check it with the other one, but we're going to substitute both values. So we've got, uh, actually we're going to do the bottom one. So Let's do 4x. So 4 times x, which is 1. That should equal negative 5 times y, which is 1. And that should be plus 9-er. All right, 4 times 1 is 4 equals negative 5 times 1 is negative 5 plus 9. That's 4. Check. Bam. All right, on this one, once again, we do need to manipulate this one. We're going to take, so the X's are lined up. Some of you can see these X's are lined up, but these are not. Okay, so we want this 7Y to move over here. Well, let's do that. Let's uh, take this 7y, move it over. That will give us 3x minus now 7y equals 6. Top equation was the same. Last time we eliminated the x's, would you guys like to eliminate the y's? Yes. Let's try, the, let's try to eliminate the y's first, okay? So let's look at this top one. All right, we're eliminating the y's, so we're going to look at the y in the bottom equation. What is the coefficient of y? Seven. Negative seven. Well, technically it's negative 7, but let's just keep it 7, okay? So we, if we need to change the signs, we can. So I'm going to take 7, and I'll distribute that. Can you just talk on that side, seven? Well, hold on. Let's, let's do the second one as well, okay? So this one, we need to multiply by the coefficient of the y that's in the top equation. 
which is what? Six. Six. Okay. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and distribute those two. All right, let's distribute the seven up in here. And we'll distribute the six as well. But let's do the seven first. Okay, when I distribute that seven, what I get is 14x plus six times seven, six y times seven would be 42 y equals, uh, geez, All right, let me yeah, take that one back up in here. Uh, uh, there you go, uh, 28. Uh, now the 6, 6 times 3x is uh, 18x. And that's a minus. 6 times 7y, uh, 42y. And that will equal 6 times 6, 36. Well, do they have different signs? No. Yes. They do. Okay. We're looking to eliminate the y's. One is a positive 42y. The other is a negative 42y. So let's add and subtract. So 14x, that's a positive 18x. So 14x plus 18x, 32x. 42y minus 42y, zero. Your honor. Equals. Equals 28. That's a positive 36. No, that's a 14, 64. 64. Very good. So, some of you can see, well, you take uh, x would then be 64 divided by the coefficient of x, which is 32. 64 divided by 32 is 2. Bam, x is 2. All right, so let me write that over here. This is our answer. x is 2. All right, well, let's finish this problem. Do we want to use the top equation or the bottom equation to find the y value? Top. Top one? Fair enough. All right, so we've got 2 times x, which, as it turns out, is 2, plus 6y equals 4. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 6y equals 4. So I subtract 4 from both sides. You can play the switch and stay game there if you choose. And so you get 6y equals 0. Well, 6 times what is 0? Zero? 0. Bam. There's our solution, but we do need to check this, okay? <clears throat> so let's look back up here at the top. We did use the top equation, so let's use the bottom one and see if it's true. So you've got uh, 3 times the x value, two. which is 2, and that should equal six. 6 plus 7 times 0. Well, what's 3 times 2? 6. Does that equal 6 plus 0? Well, because once you Bam. Know. Checked it. All right. Uh, here's the thing is, is these are special cases, and so the answer is going to be extremely special and close to your heart. So let's look at these. We're, it, it is, these actually, by the time you realize what's happening, it doesn't take so long. Okay. Let me show you. Times the bottom by three. Very good. So we're going to times the bottom by, you want negative three, that's fine. And then the top, the top by negative three? So it's a negative nine. Well, let, let's stick with that. Let's stick with the way that we've been doing it, okay? Because so, I'm assuming we're getting rid of the X's. So we'll multiply this one by old niner. Why do you times the bottom one by negative? It's just been easier because they're all... Well, then it, it'll switch the sign for us but right away. But all the top ones oh, okay. are equal to the bottom one. Yes, which is a special case, all right? Mm -hmm. So when we distribute this 9... 27x... We get a 27x... Minus 36y... Minus 36y... Equals... 63... 63... Uh, negative 3 times old 9er is uh, 27. negative 27. This is uh, positive 36. Why? That should equal negative 3 times 21 is negative 63. So it's 0, 0. Well, the beautiful thing about this 
and it is beautiful, is when we decide to eliminate one, it will also eliminate the other. Oh, I forgot the x's, thank you. So 27x minus 27x would give us 0x's plus 36y, negative 36y plus 36y is 0, why? Equals 0. No. All right. Well, it's infinite. It just means that uh, it just means that uh, all, all there's an infinite number of solutions. Yes. Uh, all solutions work. It's all real numbers. Whatever you want to say. Okay. So you could just say infinite solutions. Or you just do that cool little R thing that you do. I'd be okay with that. It's just, they have to correspond with one another. So on this example, I'm just going to explain this one real quick, okay? Notice that if we look at this bottom equation, these are all multiples of the top equation by 5. Okay? The next thing you got to do is check you gotta check the signs. Well, this is positive, that's positive, that's minus, that's minus. Check the signs. Sure, we can call those positive. Uh, since we already know that it's multiples, it's the same multiple of each term on this top <laughs> equation. Just infinite solutions. Oh. Done. Whoa. What you're doing is looking, seeing that uh, negative 7 times 7 would give me this negative 49. 9 times 7 is the 63, 1 times 7 is the 7, so you wouldn't have to do any more work, bam, infinite solution. Oh, money. Whoa. What even over on example? Thank goodness. On this one, this one gives us uh, more of a substitution example because it shows that it's y equals some kind of garbage. It could show that x equals some kind of garbage, but in this case it's y equals garbage because y's are garbage. So let's replace, we're going to replace this y with this garbage, which would then give us negative 2x equals 2x plus 1. And then we're going to add the 8. Well, just need to solve this, so negative 2x equals 2x plus old 9 So play the switch and stay game if you want. It equals x is in numbers, negative 2x, minus 2x, 9-er, that's a negative 4x equals old 9-er. Well, yeah, yeah, this definitely will be decimal. What you're going to get is x equals negative 9 fourths. Well, it looks like this is not a special case at all. So thing is, is you guys can finish that other one, but let's make that... Wait, is this one... We're going to make this a negative 2x. 2x plus 0y equals a whole number, but... Let's find out. Let's find out. Take. So, I'm going to I'm gonna replace the y again with all this garbage, which gives me negative 2x equals negative 2x plus 1 plus old 8. And so I can play the switch and stay game up in here. So I've got negative 2x. X is on the left. Number's on the right. Negative 2x becomes a positive 2x. Plus 1 and plus 8. So I get 0x equals old 9 -er. So this brings us back to solving equations. What can I multiply by 0 to get 9? 0. 0, zero times 0 is 9. Nothing. No solutions. <laughs> no so, this one, as it turns out, bam, that's as far as you Hold need you. to go. You do yours backwards. No. Well, that's because I'm left-handed. Solution. <laughs> no solution, okay? All right, this one is one of those fast ones. No, it's one of those fast ones, I promise. We'll find out. All right, so why is all this garbage... So I'm going to rewrite this bottom equation, 3x equals 3x minus 10 plus 6. Well, switch and stay game. x is on the left, numbers on the right. 
3x stays, 3x switches, negative 10 stays, 6 stays, it gives me 0x equals negative 4. What can I multiply by 0 to get negative 4? Negative 4. Oh, you did do it right. This year, the senior class at high school A and the senior class at high school B both plan trips. So let's just say, I don't care, this is Lone Peak. This was on our homework. This can be AF. That AF sucks. All right. Hey, be nice. The senior class at, uh, this would be Lone Peak. Pick, filled eight vans and eight buses with 240 AF, <sighs> rented and filled eight vans and one bus with 54 students, okay? Every van had the same number of students as did the buses. Find the number of students in each van and each bus. All right, good luck, Christian. Okay. Um, you did that wrong. I, I labeled, like... Okay, we're gonna have L P equals X A F equals Y. Oh my heavens! It's recording my voice. <laughs> Wait, can I not record this or do I have to? Do? That sounds really weird when I recorded. Okay, what that is an L P. Write two equations to represent the equation. Okay, Lone Peak School X had eight vans plus Lone Peak School. Shut up! I'm listening. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, so it's LP, which is X, had eight vans. That's X plus eight buses. That is, whoa. Yeah. No, uh, van should be X, buses should be Y. So LP is eight, because that's how special they are. And eight Y, and they have 240 students. I don't know why I did that. I was confused by the LP and the AF, but mm, I'm going to just go ahead. And then AF had four vans, which is X, and one bus, which is just Y, because it's the phantom one. And they have 54 students because they suck. And now we're going to solve. I know a really good shortcut there. Anyway. Yeah, they'll get you there in a jiffy. Okay, and I'm just going to save space, so I'm putting it up here. So you're going to do 8x plus 8y equals 240. And then we're going to times everything by... Oh, wait. Just kidding. Yeah. We're timesing everything in here by two, so it can match. And we're going to do it by a negative. All right, you guys going to talk? So it's Make negative sure it 8x plus mercy. negative 2y, which is equal to negative what? One of <laughs> and then we're just gonna. Huh? Yeah, so then bring the equation down here 8x plus 8y equals 240. Then you're gonna cancel this out because that's the way it works. And this is negative 6y, or just, no, nah, positive 6y, sorry, equals, yeah, 
Christian, kind of. Christian, all songs on the sea. Right? What? Whoa. I know. Wait, let's be right. Six divided by one. Oh, wait. <laughs> Three forty eight. No, because I had to talk. And then divided by 6 is equal to 58. So y equals 58. We're going to plug that into a solution. So 4x plus y 58 equals. Christian, you're getting this wrong. Nuh uh. No, because uh, equal is wrong because it's divided by. You divide 240. What? When you did 108 divided by 6. Wait, on what? Where? So, uh, is it negative 108? Yeah. So then it would be minus. Yeah, so you do, three, you do 240 minus a negative 108, but that's just really a plus, and that equals 348. And then. Apparently to Cooper, I'm doing this wrong, but I oh will So now it's 4x, sorry, that was a crappy 4, plus 58. Oh my heavens, that is demented. 58 equals 54. And then you're going to... Play the switch and stay game, minus 58, eh. 4x equal, and so now it's negative 4, which is just x equals negative 1. So then you're going to plug that in. <laughs> Can I just erase all this work? <laughs> Hold on. Uh... Well, something it's something happened that. up in here, yeah. uh, because there definitely could not be five, 58 kids in a bus, because eight buses of 58 kids would give you a lot more than 240 students. Yeah, I got 58. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, I know. So we need to we need to figure out we need to figure out what happened. All right. Well, let's look. Why, I know, but I want to see what happened up in here. Uh, I got that, uh, lead wire. Oh, oh, that's Christian. There was just one thing that happened here with Christian is, uh, notice that's a negative 108. Plus the 240 would give you a 132 instead of 340. It looks like you added the two together instead of subtracting. The equations were good, so you got 8x plus 8y equals 240. Yes, I, I know what the answer is. And then you'd have uh, four vans and one bus equals 54. Well, not for nothing. All right, so then we're going to multiply this, same as Christian did, by negative 2, which is going to give us... Something else. It's not. It's yeah, but that's what it's meant to do. So negative 8x uh, minus 2y equals a negative 108. So that gives us a 6y equals uh, 132. 132. And then you do 132 divided by 6, which is uh, 22. Yeah. So y equals 22, but y is the number of students in advance. So 22 students per van. Well, now it's fairly simple to solve for the number of students in, in uh, I'm sorry, that's a bus. I spelled bus wrong, sorry. <laughs> Uh, so now what we got up in here is we're going to substitute 22 in for y, we're going to get 
So we had that 4x <laughs> plus y equals 54. Well, if y is 22, uh, 4x plus 22 equals 54. So x is 8. So 8 students. Yes. 8 students per van, 22 students per bus. Per van. Boom! skip a lot of the wordiness of this. Just notice that you have small boxes, so I'm going to let X be small. Y's can be large. Okay? Because we have two different types of boxes. So let's look at Matt. Matt sold three small boxes, and then he also additionally sold 14 large boxes for a total of 203 bucks. Ming sold 11 boxes that were small and also 11 boxes that were large for 220 smackers. So, this one's going to take a little bit more work. Well, let's look. All right. So, I'm going to multiply this bottom equation by the coefficient of, I'm going to get rid of the x's first. I'm going to multiply it by 3. I'm going to take this top one and multiply it by the coefficient of x, which is 11. After I distribute those, I've got oops, 33x <coughs> plus 11 times 14 is uh, 110, 154. Why? Equals uh, 203 and 11 is uh, 22, 33. 3 times 11 is 33x plus 33y equals 660. Well, they have the same sign, so we need to change those to minus, and minus, and a minus. So let's minus. That's 0. 154y minus 33y is going to be 1, uh, 2, 121 y equals uh, 3 and that's a 2 and a 1 so 13 and 6 is a 7 and now that's 11 and 6 and 5 okay so someone with a calculator do 153 divided by 121 1573 it's 1.01325 no, one. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. So this means that the large box is thirteen bucks. So here we go. Let's do eleven x plus eleven times y is thirteen. That should equal two twenty. All right. Well, eleven times thirteen is. And, uh, 143. So that'll give us 143 up in here equals 220. 11x plus this. So 11x equals uh, hmm, that's a uh, 8077. So x is seven. Seven dollars. Sweet. We're done. Wait, no, we have. Yep. Check it.